Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And for today, we are doing a little makeover for my small bathroom. So before we start this makeover, we need to put more light bulbs because it is quite dark in the bathroom. After putting the lights in, I decided to clean up the bathroom and start unscrewing the hardware. So these are the materials that I will be using for this makeover. I have a scissor to just cut the tape and the drop plastic sheet. And then I have a tape measure to measure out the flooring later. And then I have this sanding sponge. This 120 grit to sand the sink and some of the cabinets. I have this Rust-Oleum appliance epoxy white to spray the sink. And then I also have the same one but in black stainless steel for the lights, doorknobs, and some hooks and the shower door. And this is the before for the flooring. As you can see there's like yellow stains. They're not from P, I I believe. They're just from the carpets. My carpets. Mats. So this is what it looks like before. As you can see a lot of holes on the wall so I have to spackle some of them. This is the shower, it's silver, and this is the cabinets. I took off the, the knobs, I forgot what they're called, but yes, I took them off before this, so they used to be knobs. After that, I decided to wash the sink because it was dirty. As you can see right now, it's like yellowish. That's I'm pretty sure that's the original color of that sink. Not sure, but it looked it has this like marble effect looking, but I don't like that. It looks old. Before we start sanding, we need to put on our mask to prevent inhaling some of the dust. We have a lot of masks lying around because of the pandemic, so. And then after that, I washed the dust off of it so the spray would adhere to the surface of the sink. off the surrounding areas around the vanity so the spray won't go on the other stuff in the room. Here I am trying to tape off the faucet and the drainage hole but it was really tough so I skipped that. I mean didn't skip it, I just didn't film it but I did it. And then here I am spraying on the sink. The overspray was terrible. The room was so small so I was like kind of inhaling it through the mask. It was terrible. I had to leave the room for a couple times because it was just the fumes. It's bad. As you can 
see that's what the after spray looked like and then this is what it looks like when after I taped the shower door I have all the paper, story dad, and tape sponsor me Home Depot just kidding, Not unless and then after that I decided to take out the cabinets and screw the doors because it's time to paint them. And then I went outside and sanded it. I regret doing this because I kind of forgot that we own a sanding thingy, the automatic one, the one that you plug in on the wall, I forgot what they're called. I used to use them all the time in woodworking for school. And after that, I used this paint from Home Depot. It's called Trailing Vine. Um, I really like the green. I was into green at that time. Still like them. they look like after I'm just letting them dry it Then I sanded the cabinet inside because I can't take that out obviously. And then I taped up, vacuumed, and started painting. started cleaning the floor so I can start on the laminate here I am starting in the flooring um, it was difficult for me because it was my first time and I really haven't worked with any type of flooring before. Doing the flooring took me two days, I believe. It was a tedious job for me even though this bathroom was the smallest in the world. Um, I was using a box Cutter. It wasn't like a heavy duty cutter so I had trouble with that but later on I found out that my dad had a heavy duty box cutter in the garage and that's after doing the flooring. So.
apologize if you were waiting for me to finish this flooring. I just got annoyed with it and stopped and slept. I woke up the next day and finished it without the camera on. And here I am putting in the doorknobs after spraying them black. They used to be gold and now they're black stainless steel. This is what they look like after. I kind of ruined the doorknob because of the screw. I had, it was on the way. I didn't know how to avoid that. And then I had this problem with the screw on the wall. It wasn't going in properly. So I scrapped that and finished that on the final day. started cleaning up and putting back the covers for the light switches and the outlet then I screwed in the towel hook and not hook and toilet paper hook and then I also screwed back in the cabinets Then I screwed in the hardwares on the cabinets. I thought they ended up looking really nice. So this golden hardwares didn't used to look like that. This is what they look like before. They were dark 
and disgusting. This one was just disgusting. Ooh. So to fix that, I decided to boil them in vinegar for five minutes, I believe, and then scrub them with soap and water. And this is what they look like after. Look at that. They are golden and looks vintage. And this is the dirtiest one that you saw earlier. And it's still kind of like messed up. It's like chipped and stuff like that.